What's going on y'all? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. I am not the single guy. So today we're going to talk about a subject that you're probably worrying about if you clicked on this video, which is, is she seeing another guy? Now let me be very clear about what this video is and what this video isn't. If you are someone who's been in a long-term relationship or a marriage for like 10 years, this is probably not going to be as relevant as it is going to be for someone who has been talking to somebody for a little bit. Again, this is a dating channel, not so much a relationship or a marriage channel. Okay, so this is kind of for, for that beginning stage where, let's be real, most of the time when some pe two people start dating, they might not be the only two people that they're talking to. They might be talking to a variety of other people. But what I've noticed with women is that if you've been seeing a girl for a few months or something like that, you know, she's probably not talking to so many guys at that time. Maybe she might have some backups, but if you're the main guy she's interested in, you'll kind of feel secure about it. Now, a lot of times when women have decided that the guy that they're seeing is not the main guy for them, they're not as interested and they want to see another guy, then you'll start to see some of these tendencies. So if you're worried that you might be in this position where she's seeing somebody else that she likes better, or she's just seeing somebody else, then I would highly recommend that you watch this video. Now, if you get one of these things, it might not be cause for you know total concern, but if you're getting all of these, it's pretty certain that she's seeing another dude. Now you have to decide what you're gonna do after that. I'll give you some recommendations based off of my experiences and experiences with my clients about what to do in that position. So let's get started. Number one is she starts acting different for no reason. Okay, so maybe you've been talking to a girl for a while and you know it's been like a month you've been seeing, you've been dating and things have been going great. She's been responding to your text messages super quickly. She's on call right away and then she's excited to hear from you. She gets back to you in a reasonable amount of time. But then for some reason, she starts taking maybe a day to respond. She starts taking a week or whatever. And maybe there was a trip to Cancun in between there. Or maybe she went on a vacation to a different city and then she starts acting like this. Well, chances are she probably met somebody on that trip and she's having doubts about the current situation that you guys are in or she's seeing that other guy. Like I said, uh, when the women are talking to two guys at the same time, it's very difficult for them to put their best foot forward uh, for both guys. All right, so if she starts acting different for no reason, there's probably a chance that there's another guy who came in to the picture. Two, she begins to withhold sex. So some women can sleep with multiple guys at the same time, but I would say most of them don't enjoy doing this. You know, if you look at the surveys of, uh, of women, most women usually like to be only having sex with one guy. I've suddenly had this in my experience. There are a lot of women who do this, especially the young ones. Maybe the party girls who get drunk all the time, you know, that would be the, uh, the first candidate. But if she starts withholding sex when you guys have been having sex, then that probably means that there's another guy in the picture that she would uh, more rather be doing that or she's currently having that with and she doesn't want to spread herself too thin, so to speak. Number three, she is clearly not happy with you or gets agitated with you easily. So you might be talking about something random and then she'll just blow up on you. She's like, babe, why can't you put the dishes in order the exact way that I told you to? I've told you this like three times. And you're like, dude, like we were just talking about the weather for a second. Where'd this come from? You're just like, the reason why is because she's looking for reasons to get angry with you and she's comparing you to this other guy that she's seeing or this other potential person in her life that she's thinking about, okay? And when you don't measure up, she gets angry because she could be with that other person instead of you. Now, if this is happening to you regularly, calling her out on it in the moment is definitely not the best way to solve that argument. I'll talk about what to do um, after I go through the five things. Number four is she doesn't respond when she's out. So if she says she's going out with her girls, she's like, oh, what are you up to this week? And she goes, oh, I'm just going out with my girls. And then you, like maybe you text her that night and before maybe she had been responding when she was out because she missed you. Now she's not responding at all, okay? You rarely hear from her. There is a chance she's gonna be responding. There is a chance she's gonna be looking at her phone, but it might not be to answer your text message. Uh, and that's the unfortunate part. And she might be out with that other guy uh, that she's going out with. That's another possibility. Now, I would say most of the time, if you just get this one thing and she's out and she doesn't respond, it's okay, it's not a big deal. But if you get this thing and you start seeing some of these other tendencies, I would definitely think that she's seeing either another person or she's thinking about another guy more than she's thinking about you. Number five, the last one, she starts accusing you of acting crazy. So you notice some of the suspicious activity. You notice that when she goes out, she never texts you back and she was texting you back before. You notice that she's starting to get agitated at you for no reason and you bring this up. 
and she says, you're being crazy, you're being paranoid, nothing's happening. You're Now you're in this conversation where you don't trust her and, and those kinds of things. What she's trying to do is she's trying to deflect from her obvious suspicious activity. Okay, women and people, this is true for both men and women, they will rarely, rarely come to terms with uh, their own misgivings, especially in front of somebody else. When somebody's being dishonest, they will usually lie more to get themselves out of that situation then come clean with the truth. And that's why if these things are happening to you, if you come up to her and you're like, hey, listen, like I just want you to be honest with me. I just want you, it's okay, it's totally fine. You can be honest with me. I'm not gonna get mad. She will still lie. It's not your job to try and get the truth out of her. It's your job to try and find the right thing for you. And that's really the moral of this story. So I'll, I'll tell you a little story about kind of what happened with me. So I had a situation like this happen a while ago. And this girl who I'd been on and off with for a while, you know, I knew that she was probably seeing another dude. And I saw a lot of these tendencies happening. And look, I liked the girl and I thought we were cool. I thought we were, what, what we were doing was like, you know, more casual. Yes, I had feelings for her, but the more that I impressed this on her, the more that I was like, dude, it's okay, you can tell me, it's fine. The more she would lie about it until eventually, like we just got so mad at each other that we stopped seeing uh, one another. And it killed any sort of like friendship we could have had after. The dishonesty was just too great. Uh, what I should have done was I should have probably just decided, you know what? Her behavior in and of itself is not a reason for me to stay with her. Whether she's seeing somebody else or not, I don't wanna be with this kind of person that's treating me this way, that's blowing up on me for no reason, that's calling me crazy, that's uh, not responding in a timely, timely fashion, which if that's important to you, you know, you should find someone who is gonna do that for you, okay? So you need to have standards for yourself and it shouldn't matter what the reason is, okay? Decide for yourself if you wanna be with this person as she is, don't worry about whether she's sleeping with somebody or not or seeing somebody else or thinking about somebody else more than you. Her actions should be enough to justify your actions. And in my recommendation, I don't know if I'd stay with a person who's treating me that way. So I would probably find someone who will treat me the way that I want to be treated. And that's what I recommend for you guys. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. And look, if you're a woman who's watching this, I guarantee you most of these things would be applicable for, you know, if the roles were reversed. Men and women do a lot of the same things in these categories, okay? We're both people. And so, you know, you see a lot of these tendencies happening. But these are just the things that I've seen as a dating coach for men. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. If you uh, want to get coached by me, there's a form down below. I also have access to courses teaching you how to walk up and talk to any woman anywhere, um, and also a link to uh, get on my email list. So uh, you can take a look at that. Thanks for watching, you guys. Good luck out there.